Ten years. Ten fucking years. It's so weird to think about that. How long I've been doing this. How much I've developed through these ten years is astonishing to watch too. Ten years and 677 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and quickly realizing that most of my content isn't actually JoJo memes or custom weapon demonstrations. For the latter, come on guys, I made more but y'all just not watching them. Nah, I'm just kidding, I'm not hung up over it. I genuinely thank you so much. It's so refreshing when I'm just sitting in class learning about like prostitution in the 1970s. Then I get a notification saying I have a new subscriber. It makes me feel good. Hello everybody, Echostake1 here, and today I'm trying out a new series called Spectrospective. It's a pun. It's a video series looking back at my previous videos and finding out what we can learn from them, and also making fun of me along the way. To celebrate these 10 years, I figured I'd take a look back from the very beginning and reflect on it. All I got was pain. The first era of videos I like to call pain. Or, uh, the Echo Snake 1 era. This was when I was just starting out, and it spanned from 2009 until 2012. None of these videos have any sort of quality to them, but I do kind of explore some storytelling with my uh, attempted Zoo Tycoon 2 machinimas in the vein of what was popular at the time. Or what I think was popular at the time. Maybe I was just watching Zoo Tycoon 2 videos over and over again. Who knows? Uh, they're not very good, but an admirable attempt, I suppose. During a point in time, I was actually uploading semi-frequently, but it's to be expected considering if you watch them back, they're just really short, low-quality animations. In conclusion, I don't like watching these. The second era of videos are mainly Minecraft videos from November 4, 2012 to August 9, 2013. I like to call this one the pre-Spectra Galaxy era. I wasn't going by Spectra Galaxy yet, I don't think. But I had began to brand myself as such, and also since Spectre Galaxy was a Minecraft creation, I think it's fitting. I still don't do much editing, but starting from around June 30 in my Minecraft mod showcase, I do realize that shorter videos are more preferable, so no more 30 minute videos. Also I seem to talk at a much slower pace, which is probably because I'm not using a script. I don't think I'm very good at spontaneous speech as it is now, but it's interesting to see that I've actually improved somewhat. Also, I speak in a much thicker accent than I do now. Huh. This was also the beginning of my collaboration with other YouTubers, and by that I mean my primary school friend Natalia, who never actually made any videos herself, so I guess she doesn't count as a YouTuber, but we had fun. I was also experimenting with animation at the time. It didn't work. These next time periods are marked by the different intros I use. I actually noticed this while planning this video. That the change in intro often marks a change in quality, which is interesting. But first, I should note that the period between August 9 and March 30, 2014 was kind of a transitional period. I didn't have any intro, but I was starting to move from Minecraft to TF2 at this point. But now, from March 30, 2014 to October 9, 2014, let's get to the early Spectre Galaxy era. <laughs> This isn't a very long era, but the third video actually marks the start of my countdown tradition, which I've neglected in recent years, but I hope to make a comeback this year, in which I make videos counting down to Christmas and my birthday. Hello everyone, Magic Hello, Mario here, and today I'm here. October 28 was the first video I made starring Magic Mario, and is the bridge between the early Spectre Galaxy era and what I call the Spectre Galaxy Magic Mario era. I'll explain what that means later. The reason it's a bridge is because it has all the mistakes of the Spectre Galaxy era, a la no editing, but it marks a change in style and tone for my videos. Also, I like to give this video its own special place, because the point where Mario joined me was probably the most pivotal point in my channel. October 31, 2014 to August 15, 2015 is what I consider the Spectre Galaxy Magic Mario era. At this point I was making videos with Mario who had set a schedule for himself. He was also making really good short videos with tons of editing. This all inspired me to try and work on the quality of my videos, which I am so grateful for. However, my videos are all still regularly like 20 minutes long without any cutting out of filler. They had an outro though, one that doesn't work anymore because YouTube removed annotations. 
Cops and Robbers is the first video with cuts and is considerably more watchable than the previous videos. I also began making more edit heavy videos like fan made trailers and stuff which was a start for editing but still not that good. Storytelling makes a return from my earlier days in Return to Black Mesa and it kind of just goes away for a good while after. Five Nights at Freddy's was also a big thing and Mario and I made quite a few videos on it. Nothing else to say there, just wanted to point that out, it was a quite a big thing. September 4, 2015 to June 1, 2016 is the Spectre Galaxy era. Still no editing in the early days, but I do try getting back into animation. They're not very good, but I did actually learn quite a lot of theory, like how things are supposed to fall and stuff. I didn't execute it very well, but um, I knew what I was doing, I just didn't know how to do- I, I knew the theory. The second video of this era is fucking great, and all of you people who haven't watched it should. <laughs> it's not actually good, and a lot of the time it's really offbeat, but this was the first video I spent considerable time on, like a few weeks. Contract Idiots is the first video with actual cuts in it. We finally did it. It took us seven fucking years. But we did it! Also, I started wearing retainers on the 2015 Christmas countdown, so a lot of the videos going forward just kinda sound off and a bit gross. June 1, 2016 to May 1, 2017 is what I see as the late Spectre Galaxy era. Production increases significantly. I begin to remove more unnecessary stuff as well as more fun editing bits. I also start to put more effort into my thumbnails. Also, watching a few of the live commentaries back, some of the humor is just kind of bad. Like, the humor in all previous eras were more watchable than this. It feels like a random equals funny problem, plus it just seems like I'm trying too hard. May 1, 2017 to May 22 is where my new SFM intro debuts. These two videos make up the pre fatima Fatchet era. I'm much more confident with editing and such than previously and I make much more of an effort to cut down videos so the humor is still quite bad. Although the intro doesn't change yet, the style of videos as well as the quality of editing rises significantly in October 10, 2017 which is why I separate the early Fatima McFatchett era from the pre Fatima McFatchett era. Damn, that's really long to say, but I digress. The videos in between May 22 and October 10 are kind of just shit posts and miscellaneous videos and don't really contribute to my development. I'm much more conscious of time now and though some videos remain at over 15 minutes, most are consistently around the 10 to 12 minute mark. October 31, 2017 is when I actually release an animation that's over a minute long and doesn't make me want to die watching it. It's still not very good quality, but it's miles ahead of anything else I've made. It also marks the beginning of the tone of the videos to come, that is, extreme weeb shit. I consider October 31 to April 2 the bridge between the early era and the modern Fatty McFatchet era because the tone of my videos start to move towards my newer style, but the editing is getting better. Speaking of which, April 2 is when I released my Starboard Crusader video, introducing anime for good this time onto my channel. This is also the start of the Fatima McFatchet era, or uh, modern era I suppose. My new intro is alluded to on the next video, Passing the Gas, and officially revealed on May 28.
These videos are characterized by a much more comfortable tone, I feel, as well as a more present personality than was shown in early eras. My editing as it is now is still not as good as it could be. But my main problem seems to be with making sure audio sounds good, but I also still seem to be too attached to my recorded footage. Mario's channel, which is basically a nuclear wasteland right now, had videos that I really admired. They were only 2 or 3 minutes long, but they were the same quality if not higher than my current videos, and I hope to get even better as time progresses. My earlier Minecraft videos were influenced by popular Minecraft YouTubers, and so were the other earlier non-Minecraft videos. Originally, I did start making YouTube videos for fame, but during the Spectre Galaxy Magic Mario era, I realized that basically that couldn't happen, since I was stuck on 98 subscribers basically that entire time, so I decided I'd just continue making videos for fun, and as a chronicle of my journey growing up, and making videos and stuff. During the pre- and early Fatty McFatchet eras, watching them back, it seems like I'm kind of struggling to find my style, and I still kind of struggle with, you know, trying too hard to be funny. But now, I hope I seem more comfortable with my video style, and I look forward to looking back on it in the future. Here's the 10 years, you, like, 8 people watching this. I... Why am I making a celebration video when nobody watches my videos? But, uh... Okay, here's the plan going forward. I've got a PS4 so I can expand my video topics even more. Plus, I'm thinking of doing a bunch of more educational videos like I've done for school, but just made more fun and relaxed since I don't have to worry about a school audience. I'm also working on another video that'll take a while to come out, but hopefully it'll be done soon. Anyway, thanks for sticking around. Echo Snake 1, signing out.